Well, Carissa Moore looking for her fourth. Tyler Wright looking for her first. And Tyler getting the first wave underway. Nice tail slide to start off for the two-time world champion, Tyler Wright. Great snap into the lip, drifts the tail, throws those fins out and goes in for the layback snap. Great looking start for Tyler and floats to finish the variety, the speed, the grace within her surfing. This is gonna be a tough one for Carissa. This is an on. awesome opening blow from Tyler Wright and just showing a great variety of maneuvers on that ride. And it's this really quick action style of surfing that Tyler Wright can bring to the table here. And uh, that real fast pivot action off the lip, you can see there, up and over it, brings that little layback hack onto it. She's always looking down the line here, thinking, okay, the next section, what am I going to do? Just the perfect amount of uh, restraint and attack on this wave. You can see there, I thought she almost lost it for a second here, Shannon. And I was thinking, is she going to be able to pick it up here? But she turned that first turn into really an explosive major maneuver. And then uh, you can see her confidence just builds as she goes further and further down the line, actually getting the fins out on that third turn, straight into a, a little layback hack, just connecting so perfectly between each and every turn. Tyler Wright has already locked in four excellent scores in competition this week at Bells. Carissa has not found a single score above that seven point range. And Tyler opens up on an 8.93 as Hell's Bells plays in the background and she takes a lap on her second wave. Great wrap to start things off. And just negotiating a smaller set. It looks like uh, Tyler Wright has just opened this final with so much intent Talk, talk to us about this backup score now. Yeah, Tyler. just a, it's it's a it's going to be a mid-range backup here, but I, I I can see the thinking behind. Yeah, great opener here. It looks like uh, Carissa's going to uh, open her exchange. Carissa with a good-looking set lining up in front of her as well. She would have heard that score drop through for Tyler, and now she's got to focus. Puts that board on rail for the opening carve. Nice snap for the second. And a bigger wrap, a little more drawn out there. And now negotiating that high tide section that comes through nearly finds the cover up. Doing a really good job to stay rail to rail, keep that flow moving forward up until that last section. Yeah, just a little hung up on the final hit there. Definitely a change of equipment for Carissa Moore. You can see she shifted from uh, what she was riding all event. This one looks like it's an epoxy model. I'm just going to get another score on the board here. I don't want to be left short like uh, we saw the competitors do in the last heat. Carissa's opening ride stretches right out on the face. Takes a little time, sort of a two-stage cutback to get back into the pocket here. And you can just see the timing. It's, it's slightly off compared to... Tyler's opening ride where she was connected. There was no downtime at all between each and every turn. And uh, looks like a bit of jockeying for position here. Remember, Tyler with priority. And Carissa Moore has to let Tyler go on this one. Good section standing up in front. Kind of a two-part turn to kick things off for Tyler. And now starting to find a little more connection with that rail on the face of the wave. Finding some power and now negotiating. You really can see the surfers having to just read the wave so well as we've got that high tide kind of backwash factoring in and she's doing an excellent job to negotiate and still find that scoring potential with the critical moment. But here's a good wave that, that Tyler Wright picks up as her, this will be her second best scoring ride. Little check turn back into the pocket to start things off. A nice wrap into the foam and she can see, look, these are these little sections that pop up in front of you. And Tyler's just biding her time, not over rushing it, not trying to streak too far down into this wave. Just waiting for the section to, to come to her. Carissa Moore with priority is having a strong paddle. She's got a, a nice line opening up in front of her, finding that speed as she looks for that first big turn. So snap off the lip. Nice wrap for the second. Another snap for that third. Now she's looking for that critical pocket. So she really needs to knuckle down now and make this next wave count. Let's see what happens here. Streaking down the line. Like how she's keeping that board moving. And, and by doing that, she's keeping her speed down the line. Just uh, some repetitive work through these inside snaps and that last one. For the progression, but rides out incomplete. Tyler Wright answers back and goes down over the rail. <laughs> Teeting up, isn't it? And, uh, well... 
it's for Tyler, that's, that's no real loss. She'll get back out there and get established first priority again. Now it's a big adjustment for these women and for the men coming up in the finals as well to have that shift from surfing the bowl down to Rincon. Rincon's a much more down the line wave and they've got to adjust their approach as we take a look at Tyler once again on a good looking set. Cars back into the foam, nearly gets caught off but she finds her way around it. Engages the rail on that second turn and now for the third opens that wingspan and has a huge section in front of her to finish off the emotion, the energy coming through as the right family is cheering her on from the steps. Wow. To have that, that uh, not only the support of all the Australians down here on the beach at Bells, uh, to have your family there. So watch Tyler's board here. There's no unnecessary movement. And what Carissa's doing is sort of pumping, pumping, pumping. Whereas Tyler's holding her line through these turns, staying quiet in those down moments. And then when it's time to attack and get it on rail, just so smooth. And that's creating that connected nature of, the, of how she's putting, this, uh, putting these waves together. And she's just finishing so strong, making sure she sticks that final floater, leaving that good impression in the judge's mind. Looking so good, Tyler Wright drops in a 6.83 to now put Carissa Moore into a combination situation, which means she requires two new scores on the board, which is really incredible. And she's already been able to find that rhythm in the final. So you gotta just assume, well, you can feel it and see it already. That momentum is going in her favor. That wave selection as well. Carissa Moore though, with that opportunity and a powerful slash to start things off. Going in for a second one, throws that tail. Great push and power in that third turn. Now lining it up for that inside section where it gets a little bit bowly. Nice reaction for that two-turn combo on oh. the inside. Let's have a look at Carissa's ride. This is her best wave by far. Just staying patient. Now starts to get the, uh, the turns happening. That second turn, drifting the fins a little bit, adding a bit more spice. The third one, good as well as she streaks down the line here, up and over that section gets to that one and then this final moment here this was crucial Tyler Wright answering back now finding that flow as she comes through to the inside looking to put an even bigger requirement on the board for Carissa Moore she already has her in a combination situation and that was a critical moment for Carissa oh this is uh, this is huge I, I was about to say welcome back to the party Carissa uh, I, I still think she's going to get a good score. That was by far her best wave of the final so far. She's looking like she's in form now, but she does have to manage her body in moments like this. Yeah, and uh, she's really putting in the big ones to try and beat Carissa out into the uh, the takeoff zone. But this is a good wave too. Gee, she started off well. That really low center of gravity, bottom turn into that carving turn off the top there. Tyler Wright. Just finding so much momentum. Great use of priority on this wave and a nice clean snap to back up that first turn. Goes for a, a bit of a hand drag layback and it starts to stand up for her. It's just looking like she's having so much fun out there. She's really catching a lot of waves. She's feeling completely in rhythm with the ocean and clearly has been putting in the time to feel comfortable at Rincon. There's her fiance, Lily, newly engaged and feeling so proud of Tyler out in the lineup right now with the Rip Curl crew. Yeah, Brooke, CEO of uh, Rip Curl. And uh, well, she's got, she's got the backing at this event, no doubt about it, being a Rip Curl event. And uh, I think she's got the home crowd advantage as well. Let's look at the replay of this last one. And Tyler, what she does so well is, tight, is turn in such a tight radius off the top, driving around always staying super connected with the power source on these small little running waves at Rincon. See that there, how she was just able to kind of shimmy and twist through that turn and then gets to the final finish, drops the eight point ride <laughs> way out in front now. Love the look of those opening turns from Tyler. Yeah, great technique. And this is that fast pivot action that I was telling you about. And just watch the, uh, the upper and lower body working together that low center of gravity really coming into play here, keeping the power and energy right where it needs to be in the surfboard. Whack, just so tight and how she re-corrects uh, without losing any speed is just amazing. 
And uh, obviously she spent a lot of time out at this rink on wave. Carissa needs to duck out. Tyler uses priority now to keep Carissa Moore off of this opportunity and lets it go. Carissa though, we could see there's another set rolling through behind. And Carissa's gonna dig deep to try and get this wave in the right section. She's having a look. Okay, this is this could be the fight back wave from Carissa Moore. Now let's hope it stands up because if it stretches out too far, it will hit those dead sections and lack the critical opportunity. Carissa now flying down the line, big drawn out cut back, and there we go. Now connecting with the pocket for the first time since taking off. Goes into a huge turn again, same fall as her previous wave. This could be a special moment uh, if. Uh, if Tyler does win and, and she's sort of on, on the shoulders of her, her brothers there. Carissa Moore not going to go down easy though, finding some flow on this inside section. Great combination surfing. Tyler now having a look with priority. A minute to go for Tyler Wright searching for her 15th championship tour victory at just 14 years old, half a lifetime ago for the 28-year-old Tyler Wright. She was the youngest surfer to ever win a CT. 14 years ago and here she is now looking for another victory as Carissa continues to stay busy on that inside section to fight back and to go progressive. Yeah, she's just pushing herself now trying to just I guess regain some confidence in, in, and put a wave together, put on a bit of a show for everyone. But at this event, Tyler Wright has been the surfer with the momentum. And there we have it, your 2022 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach champion, Tyler Wright, getting another excellent heat, her third in a row over Carissa Moore with a 16.93 heat total. And the Wright family will be celebrating tonight, Richie. Wow, she got one back. So what is it, 9-3 now? Is that the, is that the tally?